neu. Da war das war letztes Mal noch nicht das Gebäude. Schöne Palettenmöbel haben es. Mhm. Ja. Schön bunt. Ich will ein Zahnbürstel. Ich will ein neues Zahnbürstel. Diese Bar ist viel zu gut bestückt. <lacht> Unboxing. <lacht> yeah, incredible. Alex got a T-Shirt free from the house. What do we think? How's the motivation? Tomorrow good. Yeah. We're out with the boys again, back on the road. Make a little break in Ljubljana. Climbing gym, Kletter Center. Great personnel, so friendly personnel. Alex got a shirt for free, can you believe it? Freaking staff shirt. We're gonna continue our journey to So we are out here at the A1 sector wall of Tronikal. We are pre-gusting pre some climbing walls, which are obviously wet now. Tomorrow will be the day of our first attack. And then we're gonna see how it goes, man. I hope that the sun comes out tomorrow. Seems like it's stopping raining right now, actually. And uh, that would be really necessary for this stuff to be dry tomorrow. But yeah, cool little village, Črnikar, here in Slovenia. Let's see how it goes. Friends, welcome to beautiful Črnikar. How great it turned out. Yesterday we had rain, we were desperate, looking at those rocks, on those wet rocks, praying our last prayers. But today, the sun came up for this absolutely gorgeous blue skies. It's of, obviously it's too hot, yeah. So we always have something to complain about. That's nice. Um, but yeah, some vitamin D gains are definitely made here. And we are in the midst of the warm-up. Alex is, uh, as our alpinist, is putting the draws on all of the routes now. This is our second warm-up route. We started with a 6A, very beautiful Franci Balanci. And now we're on a 6B+, plus, or he's on a 6B+. Plus. Struggling a little bit here, right at the moment as we speak. Um, but I think we're not gonna stop here, man. We're in a rather new school graded area, sector, I guess. Because uh, the stuff that we looked at yesterday looked absolutely brutal in terms of grading. Definitely old school grading at its best. Um, and if we ever attack there, you're gonna see the difference between new and old school grading, definitely. But uh, first we're gonna get warmed up, and here is also another very beautiful looking 60 plus. Maybe we're gonna check that out as well. Rather long routes here, 20, 30 meters. Uh, man, Alex is still fighting, sticking to it. Let's check him out up there. Where is he? There is he. 
Beautiful drop knee there. Look at this technique. Oh no, that's a flag. That's a flag. Okay. Well, that is it. Here in Trunikal we are in vertical terrain, slabby terrain. Definitely toe intensive terrain here. Um, this is a little too. <laughs> hopefully we uh, I can get up there at some point and make some shots from above that would be really cool when I started this comeback I expected many challenges I you know I was prepared for them mentally I wanted to do everything right I wanted to start as early as possible with a fall training for example because I already knew from prior from past longer breaks that I took that this is one of the toughest challenges to actually overcome as a comebacker to get into that mental state again of pulling hard not thinking about falling too much you know uh, not shaking and stuff like that actually getting back into the flow as we call it something that especially beginners but also comebackers lack and one of the most uh, powerful things to actually overcome this to get better at this is fall training freeing the psyche not causing the um, you know adrenals to release as much adrenaline which is unhealthy anyway right if we want to climb relaxed and calmly something that uh, a lot of climbers could improve on fall training is the way to go so I did my fall training I expected as well to have just absolutely zero skin yeah I expected painful fingers painful skin on the fingers flappers you know the deal yeah, I expected all of that um, and to my surprise I must say probably also to a large degree because I took it very easy in the beginning my first day of climbing was essentially only stuff like 6a and 6b or, or not even that maybe even 5a or stuff like that yeah I don't really know how hard these things were but it was very easy and only on the second day I actually tried my first uh, 7a plus which uh, was quite harsh on the fingers actually arguably I've talked about that on the patreon but I must say the uh, skin issue on the fingers is surprisingly no issue at all for me at the moment one thing that I absolutely did not expect and which is by far the most limiting uh, challenge at the moment for me climbing during this comeback phase here and that is <laughs> foot skin okay who would have thought about that but if you are an experienced climber and you've spent some significant time inside of, inside of climbing shoes maybe even inside some high performance climbing shoes then you know your toes are full of callus yeah? they are full of this hard nice tough skin that really gets molded into the crevices of the climbing shoe and really get the most performance out of it and at the same time it will not cause you any pain right the climbing shoe will not cause you any pain because you've got all these calluses in particular for example at the uh, you know the tiny little bump on the big toe uh, which is so prominent in a lot of climbers uh, this is caused by climbing shoes simply over one over a, over a year of not climbing obviously has reduced that calluses for me to a nothing yeah? I have just completely normal foot skin again and uh, while that might be, I don't know, beautiful and pleasing to the ladies or whatever you may have it's not practical for climbing at all so at the moment I'm climbing the Scarpa Instinct VS here as you can see I, which for me is a really good shoe if I have normal uh, foot skin which I don't have at the moment so you get me into three maybe four routes and here especially in Chernikar uh, with the slabby more vertical terrain where definitely, uh, most definitely, more weight reaches your toe tips. Three, four roots, and it's just so super painful to slip into these shoes again, and especially to step onto some rock again. Yeah, it's incredible. I cannot do more than three proper attempts, really. Yeah, especially if the roots are a bit longer, which is the case here. We, I think, we climbed three times 30 meters or something today or I did and then I climbed the fourth time like 15 and then I had to turn around because the pain was just too much yeah, for me so this is surprisingly for me the most challenging uh, thing now during this comeback at the moment um, handling my foot skin could this be overcome with some special strategies well obviously you could go to the, to the climbing store and get some more 
uh, friendly shoes, right? For example, the Katana or um, the Scarpa Vapor, you know, stuff that is more horizontal, not as much downturn, not as tight simply. Um, but do I want to do that? I have these completely fresh and nice to climb Scarpa, Inst uh, Scarpa Instinct VS uh, here ready. <laughs> but it's hard for me to use them. It's painful for me to use them. So I think I will go with the strategy to just simply keep applying the low amount of attempts per day strategy, letting my uh, foot skin adapt to the new stimuli and uh, hoping that this resolves rather sooner than later. And I'm curious to see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be another climbing day and probably the day after tomorrow as well because the weather turns bad then again and we want to obviously make the most out of this good good weather window. Um, great day today, we got on some 6C+, we sent that on site, that was great, then we failed on the 7A, wet and uh, painful toes. I, that's my excuse for that, although I will say, obviously, if I was stronger, you know, then yeah, probably we would just bite through it, right? But uh, yeah, that's how it is. Um, I hope you're strong and healthy somewhere out there, my friends. I will see you soon, most definitely. Stay strong.